Once again, I want to welcome you to our 10 days of fasting and prayer themed priorities of faith. Today is day number four, and our theme for today has been captioned the freedom of a focused life of simplicity. The freedom of a focused life of simplicity. Shall we have a word of prayer? Dear Lord, we want our lives to be focused on you. May you speak to us as we appear before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, one of the things that God wants us to have at the back of our minds throughout these 10 days of prayer is that God wants us to refocus from the world onto Him. And so when we are praying, we have a lot of burdens, we have a lot of our needs, we are pouring out to God. But God is actually looking for one thing, and that is a relationship. So He needs us to refocus onto Him. That is why it is important to fast. Fasting has a lot of benefit, but one of the great benefits of fasting is so that we can be refocused onto God and God only. When you read the Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse number 16 to 18, listen to what the word of God says. It says, And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces, that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. When you fast, your purpose of fasting is not to be seen by others as a spiritual person. During a fast, God is just saying, come to me. When you fast, it is one of the greatest moments in your life to actually refocus, take the focus off all the things that you do, all the things that occupy your time, all the things that, you know, take your, your mind off from God. Fasting is a period to focus only on God. So when you fast, you are actually abstaining from food or abstaining from whatever it is so that you can add the presence of God or include the presence of God in your life. So that is why Jesus is saying, during your fast today or whatever days that you're going to be fasting, I know some of you have been fasting throughout these 10 days. God bless you. And so when you are doing that, you may still be going to work. Don't look gloomy. Don't look sad so that people will say, oh, you are fasting, that's why you're doing that. You need to be cheerful because your purpose is to have a clear mind on God, not to be seen by others. When you fast for people to give you applause, God is saying his word, you have already received your reward. Another thing that we need to understand about the power of fasting is that fasting is not just to abstain from food. Fasting is accompanied by prayer. Don't just starve yourself. Take a moment. So when you are fasting, make sure there are specific times in the day during the fast where you would come apart and pray to God. Because your fasting is to connect to God. You empty yourself of something that is important for this physical body so that you can connect to what is important for the spiritual being. When you fast and you do not pray, you are starving yourself. And fasting, it's not like this, no, uh, these days people say intermittent fasting just to lose weight. No, 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 no. That is different. That is for health purposes. But a spiritual fast is where you focus on God so that you are connected to the Most High God. And as you ab abstain from food, as you abstain from whatever it is that takes most of your mind, you purpose your mind to follow God. That should be your goal today. And remember that when you do that, God will bless you and He will prosper you. Father, we thank you so much. Today you have spoken to us and you have made us understand the true meaning of fasting. As we go about with our fast today, Lord, in a very special way, may you attend to our prayers. May you answer our burdens and may you help us to focus on you and on you alone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Amen and Amen. God bless you, my dear friends. We shall be meeting at 12 p.m. and also at 7 p.m. Our Zoom details are on the screen. Make sure you join us and present your request so that we can lift them before God. Have a blessed day. Remember to click on subscribe so that you don't miss the next episode. Shalom.